Hey, welcome back to uh, Super Mario Bros. X level editor tutorial. Um, this time we'll be covering yet more basics. And, um, you know, this time we'll be covering... Uh, I just... I just said that I did... It's so freaking bad! So yeah, this time we'll be covering um, the warps and doors option down here. As you can see, I have the background uh, window open. So let's just dive right into this. So I'll do doors first. Um, now there are about seven or eight different doors to pick from throughout all of these. I'll just, I'll just pick, I'll just, I, this one. So, um, what you do to make a door warp is, um, you take, you pick a back, a door from the background objects and then you place it in your level and then, you open warps and doors. So the first thing you want to do when you open up this warps and doors window is you want to determine what type of warp do you want to have. As you can see over here where it says warp effect, you want to decide if you want to have a pipe, a door, or an instant warp. You know where once you touch uh, the warp block you'll just instantly be teleported somewhere else. So for this case we'll be doing a door. Now notice when we hit the door option these options become grayed out because these are mostly for the pipes. Let's try this, like a take three. Uh, the warp placement, um, right now we're placing the entrance because we want to enter through this door. So you want to make sure the entrance is selected and you want to make sure it's this, uh, the warp effect is set to door. Um, yeah, then you just place it right where you want, uh, want to be able to go into. Um, so we want to go into this door, so that's where we'll put that. And then, um, helps if you have a door to come out of it. It really does. So yeah, um, when you want, uh, you just put the exit where you want it, and obviously select exit where it says warp placement. Then once you place that there, you'll notice that the, uh, these numbers pop up. That j all these numbers mean is that, um, it's the first, uh, the first set of warps in the level. So like, if I were to place down more warps, then they would say two. The ones after that would say three, and so on. So anyways, now let's move on to pipes. If you want to create an entrance, or I should say a warp between pipes, then you obviously want to select pipe for the warp effect. Now, since in this case, we'll be entering this pipe, and coming out of this pipe, for the entrance uh, direction, you'll want to select moving down, and the exit direction, I'll keep at moving up, because you know, you'll be moving down this pipe and moving up this pipe. So, let's just change the warp placement to entrance, and place that warp right there, and then change it to exit, and, oops, uh, I, I did that a little bit wrong, let's just put that there. And yeah, so we'll be going in this pipe and going out this pipe, as I've, as I've said three times in a row, that's, that's pretty awesome. And next we'll be doing the instant warp effect. Now. Um, I think that these two uh, options don't actually affect this at all, so I don't know. It might be more intuitive if they were like grayed out when you select instant as they are when you select door, but you know, whatever. So yeah, like I said, I don't believe that it matters what you have these two options set to when you place uh, a, an instant warp. You just put uh, wherever you want the person to the place where they touch warp them and then they'll come out here that that was oops you want to select entrance then you place the entrance you want to select exit then you place the exit jeez it's not hard my, myself what is, what is wrong with me sometimes all right let's test this baby out oh oh yeah I, I kind of forgot I put this huge like big thing of enemies and I still for some reason have not changed the controls to something that's more convenient for me and for some reason I put this all the way over there okay so after like two minutes of what should have only been one minute so yes this door it leads right there this pipe it leads here and the warp that's somewhere over here somewhere somewhere there it is it leads over here that is awesome yeah. I figured that these two topics kind of went hand in hand. The next uh, thing that we're going to discuss are the level sections. Now, a section is basically 
Well, a level is made up of 21 sections, as you can see when you open up the level settings. There is a section section right here. Huh, see what I did there? I sure don't. So, um, yeah. Say, uh, if I click on section 2, then it basically opens up what looks like a new level. God, what is my problem? What I was trying to say is that, um, the sections are basically, as you could have guessed, maybe, um other sections of your level. So say you want this random castle part that I have very, very professionally designed within um, your your main level. So, well, y you could do that. And say I want a warp to get from here to that section. Well, I I could do that. I, say I want the warp to be instant. I'll just, I'll just put a warp right there to it. And then I'll go to level settings, and as I've shown not very long ago, you can switch between the sections with, with these buttons, and and I'll place the exit in here, and um I'll just I'll just put like right there, but yeah um sections are basically just other parts of your level, so you know it's it's like it's like in in a lot of the Mario games going a pipe. And then you come out in, in a new place. This is how you do it in Super Mario Bros. X. You know, I also can be pretty stupid sometimes. When you create a new section, you don't want to move your player positions to that new section. So yeah, when, when we come over here and then we walk into the warp, it's like, oh no, you're gonna die, or, or something. So, um, yes, this is how you create other sections in your levels and also have warps. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped. I hope I explained this clearly enough, and I hope that my inability to speak hasn't annoyed anyone too much. I don't know what my problem is today, but, uh, yeah, the next video should just be the basic odds and ends unless unless something else comes up, and then we'll move on to advanced stuff. So, th th thanks for watching. I hope this helped. And, yeah, once again, I hope I explained this clearly enough. If if I didn't, then, then somebody t say so and I'll make an another video with more clarification or something. But yeah, thanks for watching, and, and, and I'll see you later, yo!